The World Malaria Report 2020 documents extraordinary progress that has been made towards a malaria-free future. There has been 44% reduction in the number of malaria deaths between 2000 and 2019. There's also been about 32% reduction in the number of malaria cases. 1.2 billion cases of malaria have been prevented and around 7 million deaths have been averted. This is due to the extraordinary leadership of the global partnership as well as the leadership of countries, households and health workers all over Africa. When COVID-19 hit Africa, there were shutdown of borders, shutdown of movements, and by implication, therefore, it restricted access to health services, including malaria services. But then, WHO and partners quickly intervened with guidance on maintaining routine health services, including malaria services, while responding to the COVID. Planned campaigns like uh, seasonal malaria chemo prevention in West Africa, distribution of nets, and treatment of malaria cases continued. They were delays at the beginning, but at this point in time, the delivery of malaria interventions are continuing at near normal levels. The World Malaria Report indicates that we are unlikely to achieve the 2020 milestones, the 2025 targets, and the 2030 targets. We are rethinking malaria. We need to adopt a comprehensive approach to malaria control as well as priority diseases. We should also be investing in health systems response, using disease control resources like in malaria to support capacity strengthening. Yes, there is room for improvement, but nobody should die from malaria today in Africa because malaria is preventable.